Hey, what's going on guys? It's Street Crypto here back for another video. In today's video, I want to talk about Terra and its native token of Luna. So Terra is currently sitting at $49.08, seeing a 2% decrease in the last 24 hours with a market cap of $23.6 billion. Uh, if we look at the all-time charts, we can see that Terra has been on a massive run all the way up uh, from around $5 near late July, and it's now done uh, a 10x since then, hitting a high of $55 recently. If you don't know what Terra is, Terra essentially is a blockchain that uses uh, stable coins, which is something that's uh, directly proportional or the same value as real world money. So one Terra stable coin is the same as one US dollar. Uh, and this is in order to uh, power price stable government payment systems. Um, so according to its white paper, Terra combines stability with wide adoption of fiat countries um, and offers fast and affordable settlements. So going to some news around Terra. Uh, so Terra's token of Luna has uh, voted to burn $4.5 billion in tokens. So Terra voted to burn nearly 89 million uh, Luna tokens over the coming weeks. So in brief, uh, Terra voted to burn a sizable portion of their tokens and the price reached a record high on Wednesday. So this is really, really big news. Um, so what happened was uh, the on-chain votes for proposals 133 and 134 to burn 89 Luna uh, swapping USD chain swap it has now passed. So what does that mean? Well, it means um, this distribution window from three to two two years have now passed and essentially they're aiming to uh, mint more stable coins uh, by burning you know 520,000 uh, Luna now that is really really insane uh, but the even bigger burn is an 89 million dollar uh, 89 Luna 89 million Luna burn sorry um, but is this really realistic and is this gonna happen um, well, looking at the supply, 89 million Luna is, you know, somewhere around 20% of its supply. So if it burns 20% of its supply, um, that's going to put Luna at somewhere around $60, like pretty much instantly. So is this going to happen? Well, it's yet to be seen uh, as they've in theory accepted the vote for it. Uh, but it's difficult to see what's going to happen in the future regarding this burn because $4.5 billion dollars in a burn is really, really insane. And the next thing I want to mention is um, uh, there is a peer-to-peer -peer insurance server that is launching on the Terra blockchain. So Ozone is a decentralized insurance mechanism that provides coverage in the event of uh, technical fail failures on the Terra DeFi ecosystem. Now, obviously, crypto and blockchain doesn't usually have a safety mechanism as the blockchain uh is a no refund service, but this new, um, you know, approach is a uh, company that is dealing with uh, technical issues. So you can uh, have collateral and then you get to uh, receive insurance on technical failures on the uh, Luna ecosystem, uh, on the Terra ecosystem. And this is a really good sign as it shows that Terra's ecosystem is expanding uh, to provide users with the uh, options of having things that aren't really available on the Ethereum network or any other competitor uh, at the moment. Now, the next thing I want to mention is uh, Grayscale exploring Terra as a trust fund. So Grayscale is a massive trust and they're considering Terra to add to their resources. So Grayscale uh, has over $50 billion in assets and they're looking to explore Terra as uh, an ecosystem in which they want to add a lot of money into. So this is a really good sign as it shows that the big um, you know, market makers are eyeing Terra as a possible option uh, for a huge investment. Now, the next thing I want to mention is um, just some quick TA. So we've been respecting this upward trend line for Terra uh, since the start uh, of November towards the end of October and we recently hit a high of 50 just about $55 as I mentioned recently and then we saw quite a big uh, rejection right here wicking all the way down to nearly $44 um, in the space of eight hours so that was a, a correction of around 20% in eight hours you know which is a lot but this candle closed very very high to where it wicked down to uh, so it went down to $44, but it closed up, you know, 10% uh, 
uh, above uh, where its wick went. So that was a good good sign for the bulls. It showed that uh, people were buying dip really, really well. But the thing we want to see is if we respect this trend line even more, because obviously this four hour candle closed below, below the trend line. Now it depends where you draw it, obviously, um, but it looks likely that we could push down towards $46 again, closing somewhere between $46. Now, why do I say that? Well, obviously Bitcoin uh, is at 64.6K right now uh, and all the way down from 69K. So it is likely that Terra could see some downside. Uh, and when I say downside, you know, I mean a slight correction considering the move has done really, really well. But obviously if the bulls come into play, we would wanna enter this trend line again and then test resistance at $55, but I would say the likely scenario is ranging between here for the next couple of weeks. Now, obviously the news about the burn had really, really helped Terra, but um, yeah, I, I just I just see $46 as a good price point uh, to place some orders in. And if we see another wick down like this, we could hit orders uh, below $46 uh, again. But obviously if we break down below $46, we will then test uh, around $43 again, and then with big support at $40. Now, I wouldn't be worried too much about Terra, as it has proved it's an ecosystem that's growing. And obviously, since uh, August, we're up massively, but I don't expect us to have a huge crash down, unless obviously we see Bitcoin absolutely shit the bed. But I would, that was just a quick video on the Terra token and the Luna token. If you guys want me to check out any other cryptos, let me know down below. But I'll see you guys in the next one, and peace.